Welcome back to the iconic life and today's video we're going to be looking at coming to America and seeing how the cast has aged over the years. We're also going to be discussing some interesting facts about the movie that you might not have known about. After the makeup and clothing was applied for the Jewish character Saul, Eddie Murphy wanted to test the makeup and costume out. He got a golf cart and drove from one studio department to another in Paramount Studios. He would get out of the cart and say in his regular voice, Hi, I'm Eddie Murphy. And no one believed him. Can you imagine that? This was the first time Eddie Murphy played multiple characters in the same film, which became a trademark of his. Something he does really well. Humorist and columnist Art Butchwold sued Paramount Pictures alleging that they stole his script and idea and turned it into this movie. Butchwold won and was awarded damages. Paramount settled for $900,000. I think he got ripped off here. Cuba Gooding Jr. shows a scene in which his character, the boy getting the haircut, tells Clarence that he does not have the money to pay for his haircut. Clarence responds by shaving a bow patch out of the boy's hair. But to Gooding's disappointment, the scene was deleted. Can you imagine getting a bit of your hair shaved off and that not appearing in the film? John Amos, whose character Cleo McDowell shamelessly copies McDonald's, had a long history with McDonald's in real life. At one point, Amos worked at the first ever McDonald's restaurant in Canada. And he also starred in a famous song and dance McDonald's commercial in 1971. The scene when Cleo stares strangely at Akeem trying to use a bucket of mop is an inside joke to that commercial. In 2015, John Landis revealed that although he liked coming to America, he felt the movie was slow and he requested that Paramount allow him to produce a director's cut for the Blu-ray disc edition, which would have shortened the film to improve its pacing. Paramount refused, saying that the original movie was too successful and should not have been messed with. What do you think of this decision? Kim's apartment building is supposed to be in Queens, but actually located in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, in South 5th Street and Hooper. Does anyone else feel lied to? The college basketball game that the lead characters attend was a real one. It was a December 1987 match at Madison Square Garden between St. John's and Morris. This is the first time that Eddie Murphy and makeup artist Rick Baker worked together. They would re-team on The Nutty Professor 1996, Life 1999, Nutty Professor 2, The Clumps and Norbit. They became quite a dynamic duo when it came to Eddie's movies. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe for more.